Today, our subject is transitions, how we make video transitions and scene transitions in DaVinci Resolve 17. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not a massive fan of transitions when I'm editing video anyway. I like to just go from scene to scene. However, there are occasions when making or having transitions can be quite fun, quite visually appealing as well, and uh, keep our viewers uh, inspired, motivated, and uh, keep them entertained, maybe. So without further ado, let me pull up uh, DaVinci Resolve into the screen. Um, and uh, what I've done here, let me preloaded uh, our timeline with some clips of someone skiing. Okay, so what we want to do, so we've got a bit of a story, so they're going up the mountain, uh, they're then going to put their skis and their kit on, then they're going to do some skiing, and then they're going to come to the end. That's how the story goes for today. And we want to show you transitions. So where do we find our transitions? We are in the effects uh, top left-hand side there. Uh, we click on that, and here we can see our toolbox, which has all our transitions in. So we we're going to go with video transitions right at the top here. Uh, and if I can check that across, it might make it easier for everyone to see. There we go. So as you can see, we have all these different transitions. Now, what I love about DaVinci is that we can just drag our cursor across the transition and we will see a little preview of what it'll look like. Okay, so we've got a blur dissolve. Okay, so that is dissolve. We have a cross dissolve. So you've got lots of different dissolves. And then you've got iris. So this will be an arrow. Uh, there's a cross. So all these different things. And this is the thing. This is free software. And we have all these different free uh, free transitions. Um, so we've got, so we've got uh, spiral. Oops. Computer's trying to catch up with me. Uh, come on, girls. That's getting funny. Come on now. Stop. Play nice. Um, so, yeah, so we've got a triangle, square, barn door. So, you can think of all these different things that you can use. We've got a star there. That's nice. Uh, and we go triangle left. You get the, um, you get what I mean. So, we've got all these different ones. We've got wipes, gradients. Uh, look, there you go, spiral. All good. So we can just uh, we can just pop these transitions in. Now, one of the things about DaVinci is, uh, and actually I'm going to use this end one just to show you. Uh, now, sometimes, and it's got me once, uh, I couldn't load a transition. So as an example, if I wanted to do an X, Y, well, let's do the spiral. If I wanted to do a spiral transition between these two scenes here, um, as you see, it won't let me drop anything in. And it took me ages to work out why. Uh, and basically what happens in DaVinci is that it wants to, it wants to have a little gap. Um, so it needs to have a little bit of film that it can transition into. So on these two, because when we highlight here, it shows red. That means there's not enough film left. So it's right at the very end of those clips. So what we can do is we can just drag this one a little bit, bring it in a little bit, and as you can see, it goes green. I mean, you, don't, you only want to do it for about a second. Uh, pull this one in for about a second as well. Actually, that's quite a long clip, so we can actually pull that in to five seconds. And see, it's now green edged. So now they are both green edged. Just to demonstrate that one. Yep, both green edged. They've both got room now to have that transition. So I can now put in my spiral stripe. And now you can see I can either have it on, on one side. So it'll be spiral on one clip, or we can have it spiral on the other clip, or we can have it spiraling between the two clips. So oh, I always think it's a quite cool thing to have it between the two, if you're going to have one. So we play that, and that will spiral. Well, you couldn't see it spiral, but it will spiral when we render it. There you go. It spirals. So let me just uh, so let's have just pop a couple of these. Let's pop a couple of these uh, these transitions into our. Oh, let's go up. Let's go through the top ones. Blur dissolve. Let's drop that in there. 
And let's do a cross dissolve into that one. And uh, hopefully they will all work. So let's uh, play that and see what we've got. Because hey, these are all quite short little clips. Okay, maybe just need to scrub the timeline a bit. Let's give it another go. Yep, so there's the cross dissolve. That's not so bad. Can't remember what that one was. That was the blur dissolve. That was the other one. And there was our spiral. So there's our different transitions. But as you can see, even if you had them with the same transition, um, they would all look a little bit crazy. But I think it much much better if we just uh, didn't have them at all. But you've got to play around with them. There are so many. Do have a good old play. Um, I think they're not worked so well because I've got so much going on on my computer. So we can, so you can highlight the uh, the element here. And if we can go into Inspector up here, we can actually see, so we've highlighted that blur dissolve. You can see what it is. Uh, you can change it. You can increase or decrease uh, defaults to a second. So you can make it bigger. Um, you can make it vertical strength higher. All these different things that you can do. Um, so you've got transition curve, absolutely everything you can think of to play around with these uh, transitions. So if it wasn't bad enough just having one little transition, you can spend hours and have hours of fun making your transitions even more spectacular. Um, I would say they're probably a little bit, uh, a little bit mm, distracting in my book. That is our DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Now I'm live streaming and amazing. I'm able to do live streaming on this. I'm able to do it on Facebook, on my website, on my YouTube channel and uh, anywhere I want because I've got an RTMP code. And the reason I can do that is because I'm using B.Live. So B.Live is now the link for a free trial to B.Live has just dropped into the comments section wherever you're watching so uh, please do enjoy that uh, do check it out and if you do love be live then you can use the cheeky code nick wood and that will give you a 30 percent discount um if you sign up for the monthly or annual package so feel free um what else have we got oh the side hustle book they got the uh, tube buddy when we have created our videos i always like to use tube buddy i use the tube buddy legend uh, it allows us to split test. It allows us to search engine optimize. It allows us to do a whole host of, uh, of things, clever things. It allows, allows people to go find our channel and watch more of our videos. So this link here is for a free trial, a free 30-day trial of the TubeBuddy Pro uh, service. Um, and then, yes, as I said earlier, I can live stream directly onto my website. I'm live streaming on the website right now. And I do that thanks to VI Loud, another cracking piece of, uh, of software. Again, another free trial. You can try it here. Um, no credit card required. You can just have a free trial of VI Loud that allows you to live stream onto your website, which is really cool. And as always, if uh, if you're looking to start your own business, um, you know how to prepare, launch, and grow uh, your own online business, then click on that link there. That will take you to a free webinar hosted by my good friend and mentor, Stuart Ross, uh, and he can take you all the way through that as well. And again, there is uh, so much uh, opportunity that uh, can be had here uh, that it's uh, always good to share next time we shall be looking at maybe some audio transitions as well and maybe actually editing to the audio as opposed to the visual